Deputy Prime Minister Heng Sui Kiet, who is the People's Action Party's first Assistant Secretary General, introduced the party's first slate of new candidates at PAP's headquarters this morning. We have an ongoing process of uh, renewal of our candidates for the election. And this will allow us to bring in more uh, new faces from different segments of our society so that they can uh, represent different segments of society, they can bring different interests for discussion. And I'm very glad that uh, this time uh, we have a very interesting and diverse slate of candidates. As Mr Heng introduced four new faces, while Environment and Water Resources Minister Masago Zukifli introduced another four in a separate press conference. Here's a brief look at the eight new PAP candidates. Mr Desmond Tan left his post at the People's Association earlier this month. Prior to that, he was a Brigadier General in the Singapore Armed Forces. He joined politics to do his part in preserving social mobility and shape of society that the public wants. Mr Edward Chia is the co-founder and managing director of lifestyle company Timber Group. He hopes to be an effective voice for small and medium-sized enterprises in Parliament. Ms. Nadia Ahmad Samdin is an Associate Director at TSMP Law Corporation. Having volunteered at various organisations since she was 15, Ms. Nadia said she hopes to be a voice for her generation. Mr. Ivan Lim started work at the age of 16 at Keppel Shipyard and was later awarded a scholarship. He is currently the General Manager at Keppel Offshore and Marine. He is concerned about elderly residents and children who require social assistance. Ms. Henny So, a director at MSC Law Corporation, said she began volunteering to share her past experience, having come from the normal academic stream and her legal knowledge. She hopes to continue to do so to help others. Mr. Mohammad Fami Aliman is the director at NTUC Administration and Research Unit. He was previously a colonel in the SAF and Deputy Chief Executive Officer of the Islamic Religious Council of Singapore. He said he wants to be the voice of low-wage workers. Mr Don Wee works at United Overseas Bank. He said that he hopes to be able to help small and medium-sized enterprises by proposing improvements to assistance schemes. And finally, Yip Hong Wing is the former Group Chief of the Silver Generation Office under the Agency for Integrated Care. Having interacted with many senior citizens during his time with the office, he said he hopes to make Singapore the best place for seniors to live and be productive in. The PAP will be unveiling more new faces in the coming days.